Good morning, fellow subscribers. Well, it's morning for me, anyways. It is a balmy 67 degrees at uh, 10 o'clock, so it's going to be a beautiful day to get out. I checked all my knots on my rod after those carp. You never know. I mean, there. One, one just about fooled me before I turned them. I had to check to make sure there were no uh, nicks in that line. Those 15, 20 pound carp can do uh, extensive damage to 6, 8, even 10 pound test. Well, here comes the bus. I gotta go. It is such a beautiful day. I mean, really. If you have a chance to get out, you know, walk the dog, you know, with the line, especially, if you get a chance, it doesn't matter if it's a little unknown creek, a little unnamed pond or something, or Lake Okeechobee. Just, just get out, get a little sunlight. It's good for you really it's good for you. I don't care who you talk to I know a little bit about stuff I mean I know the ultraviolet radiation is, is well stuff you know the things they're talking about oops bus is coming I might as well grab it uh, <clears throat> what was I saying by the way oh yeah uh, you know sunlight ha does have uh, essential vitamins that you really do need I know a lot of people have been cramped indoors, stuck indoors. It is such a gorgeous day. I mean, you really should get out and just, I don't care if you just sat in the grass. I mean, it is a good, it's a good thing to just get out every once in a while. I know I'm running out every day, but you know, that's, that's kind of my life. It's kind of the way I am. I mean, you talk to any of my friends, they, you know, uh, I go through 250, 260 days a year. I'll go out when it's, what is it, 25 degrees and snowing. I don't care. But, uh, I'm almost there, folks. Good luck, and, uh, stay safe. I'm gonna see if I can fool a few. See if I can get a few of those little suckers to hit. I know, I know those bigger ones are probably out deep, and the males are probably setting on their beds. Probably caught half the males in this lake, by the way. But the bigger females, I haven't really seen that many of them. I've caught maybe two or three this year. You know, I really have to wait usually, because they like to sit out deep. I usually have to wait for the, uh, the weather to get much, much warmer. And then, then I can start using top waters. And uh, when the, the grass starts growing up around the shorelines, I can use some soft plastics. But this time of the year, it's, it's usually all dinks, except for maybe one or two big ones I catch. <sighs> Pretty little flowers. See that, just enjoy the day. Little dandelions. It's not going to show up. There's still a bedding male about three and a half pounds sitting right there. I mean, just right there. I can see him circling. I've caught him twice this year, so I doubt if he's going to hit again. But around here, there's usually a few smaller, a few smaller bass. So I'm going to try a few casts. You never know if I can fool him again. Last of the day, folks. It's a spinner bait. It's been kind of slow, fortunately, because you know there's been a cast there down there, throwing 55,000 times to get one shaft. Let this guy go. There you go, buddy. Ready? There he goes. It's been a pretty good grind today, but uh, and I finally managed to get a pretty good one. Uh, I've had a number of good strikes on a, uh, a crankbait, and uh, I just kind of missed them. But this this male, you see, fan in the bed, he hit pretty hard. Let me just get the hook out of him, let him go. Hey, let's get you back in the water. 16 inches. There we go. Bye-bye. Nice one. Hit the spinnerbait again. All I need to find was some active fish. That's definitely a male there. Those colors. Alright, let me see if I can get back in the water. It's been a pretty good grind today. But, uh, and I finally managed to get a pretty good one. Uh, I've had a number of good strikes on a, uh, a crankbait, and uh, I just kind of missed them. But this this male, you see, fan in the beds, he hit pretty hard. Let me just get the hook out of him, let him go. Nice one. Hit the spinnerbait again. All I needed to find was some active fish. That's definitely a male there. Those colors.
colors. Alright, let me see if I can get back in the water. Alright, guy. I know the wind kind of sucks, so I'm trying to get him on an angle here. Hey, there you go. He's gonna take off. Watch him. Watch him. You're free. There he goes. Oh, but he just pulverized it right at the rod tip. At less than a foot of line out. That's why I tell people never take that lure out of the water until it's all the way in. Let's release this guy. Farewell. There he goes. Had a lot of energy because he hit right at the rod tip. Buddies. Think they taming up down here? Hi, buddy. Hi, buddy. Sorry I don't have any bread for you. dropped the line to make sure that the uh, crankbait was running straight and this, this long breast just smashed it. <laughs> let me get the hook out of him and let him go. Uh, I got it. See his spins? He's been betting too. me to change the treble hooks on this little lower when I get home, by the way. They just keep popping out on me. I'm gonna get this hook out, let him go. In a second, those hooks just fall out. There he goes. Official folks, getting bass on. heading out. Temperatures dropped quite a bit, so I think I'm done for the day. Everyone else seems to be running for cover anyways, too, so good luck on the water. Stay safe. Hope to see you on the water. Stay tuned. I may show a little bit of QB when I get back home, too. Yum, yum. Uh, <clears throat> what was I saying, by the way? Oh, yeah, uh, you know, sunlight ha does have uh, essential vitamins that you really do need. I know a lot of people have been cramped indoors, stuck indoors. It is such a gorgeous day. I mean, you really should get out and just, I don't care if you just sat in the grass. I mean, it is a good, it's a good thing to just get out every once in a while. I know I'm running out every day, but you know, that's, it's kind of my life. It's kind of the way I am. I mean, you talk to any of my friends, they, you know, uh, I go for 250, 260 days a year. I'll go out when it's, what is it, 25 degrees and snowing. I don't care. But, uh, I'm almost there, folks. Good luck, and, uh, stay safe. I'm gonna see if I can fool a few. See if I can get a few of those little suckers to hit. I know, I know those bigger ones are probably out deep, and the males are probably sitting on their beds. Probably caught half the males in the lake, by the way. But those bigger females, I haven't really seen that many of them. I've caught maybe two or three this year. You know, I really have to wait usually, because they like to sit out deep. I usually have to wait for the, uh, the weather to get much, much warmer. And then, then I can start using top waters, and uh, when the, the grass starts growing up around the shorelines, I can use some soft plastics. But this time of the year, it's 
It's usually all dinks except for maybe one or two big ones I catch. <sighs> Pretty little flowers. See that? Just enjoy the day. Little dandelions.